Cups of Flappers. Today we are visiting an old friend, Fischl. I made a guide for her a while back in November, and at this point, that guide has been outdated. For people trying to build Fischl, this video will cover some tips and tricks for Fischl mastery, her talent priorities, constellation value, best weapons with free to play options and artifacts, which include main stat and sub stat priority. As always, timestamps can be found in the description as Fischl is not a new unit, so likely you are watching this for certain updates, such as current best in slot weapons. Anyways, let's start with some tips and tricks. When you are using Fischl, it is key to understand how to have maximum Oz uptime as while many people may forget Oz is an important part of Fischl's kit as Fischl herself cannot apply Electro unless she uses her charge attack, which means Oz will be your go-to elemental reaction trigger. What you can do is summon Oz, then wait until he vanishes, use your burst, and then you will have another fresh Oz as your burst skill will summon a new Oz for the full duration, essentially doubling Oz this field time and having a very short cooldown for Oz. A key point here is the order in which you do this. You want to use your elemental skill first and once your elemental skill goes into CD, then use your burst skill which will give you another Oz. The burst skill Oz does not affect the cooldown of your elemental skill so you have to do it in this order. If you reverse this then you will have to suffer through the entire elemental skill cooldown for Oz. So in the beginning you will be constantly looking to your elemental skill to see if it's back up with this trick and some practice you will be able to masterfully cycle through skill cooldowns and have maximum oz uptime which means a lot more damage so now moving into talent priorities and this has two parts to it depending on how you plan to use fischl you will have two different build paths with minor changes so let's start with official main dps and support dps you want to definitely prioritize her auto attacks and then followed by her elemental attacks you can leave her burst at level 5 as it's mostly used for utility and doesn't benefit much from leveling it up too high. If you are building Fischl as a team support where you use Oz to assist team then you can prioritize her elemental skill only and depending on whether or not you field Fischl to attack you can either level up her normal attack talent or just leave it depending on how you plan to use her. Again the burst skill does not need to be leveled in most situations. I would say level 5 would be good enough. So for Fischl, Constellation is where things get very interesting. Fischl has one of the best Constellation trees in the game and that is considering the 5 stars as well. So that's saying a lot about Fischl. There are lots of value here. So let's just start at Constellation 1. This Constellation is the key to what some people call Machine Gun Fischl and it makes a huge difference for you to use her as your main DPS. So if you are planning to play Fischl, definitely pick this Constellation up because without this one, he does lack a bit of DPS. Constellation 2 is decent as it's a damage and range boost for your elemental skill when it's first drop and not overall damage and range of attack, but simply the initial summoning electro AOE and summoning damage. So it's not really worth going for if you are just going to stop at Constellation 2. But again, she is a four star. So if you get a couple copies of her just out of the blue randomly, it's definitely, definitely a good thing. Constellation 4 is another great function constellation where now at the end of Fischl's burst, Fischl may regen 20% of her HP. It's nothing game breaking, but it is very useful to have as Fischl's burst is on a 15 second cooldown with only 60 energy cost and you will be using her burst very often to summon Oz. So having this constellation definitely helps out but do note this benefits main DPS Fischl much more than a support Fischl who likely won't be taking much damage to begin with. Finally, constellation 6, another function constellation which means it has huge value and this constellation is truly amazing. It extends Oz's field time by 2 seconds which means if you're cycling through Oz back to back, that's an extra four seconds. Because remember, you can summon him once with your skill and summon him again with your burst skill. So that is a total of an extra four seconds of Oz field time. With this constellation, Oz's downtime will go from five seconds to just one second, which is pretty much no downtime. On top of that, it adds additional DPS value for your on field DPS with 30% officials attack as electro damage. Insane constellation overall that I do 
highly recommend people to go for if you have Fischl on your team or you are really serious about putting in resources into Fischl. Overall, Fischl's Constellation Tree has great value in it and with her being a four star, it's not too difficult to max this out over time. So just know that if you do get copies of Fischl and you don't have her Constellation maxed, don't be sad because every single Constellation here has good value. Now going into weapons. Again, depending on whether you are using Fischl for main DPS or just purely for support, her weapon weapon choice will differ. So let's start with main DPS options. For free to play, the compound bow is an amazing choice for Fischl as you can craft it. Going above this, we have the black cliff bow which has great value overall just due to the crit damage substat but loses to the compound bow for damage. So if you can craft the compound bow, just skip black cliff all together. Going forward into gacha weapons, we have the rust as the best weapon you can obtain for free, quote unquote free if you get lucky. And then finally, we have the BP weapon, which is comparable to the rust when it comes to DPS, but it's not free. Do note that all of the four star options starting from the compound bow to rust to the BP weapon, they actually don't differ when it comes to DPS. Oftentimes you'll see the BP weapon completely outshines the other options, but it's not the case for Fischl and for the bow category. So do note that if you do have the compound bow, it's not going to be that different. All in all, making the compound bow one of the best choices for value. Now, going into five star weapons, we have the Amos Boat, which edges out the Rust and BP weapon. And finally, the Skyward Harp as the undisputed best in slot bow for Fischl. Moving on to support Fischl, we have F2P options starting with the crafted weapon Prototype Crescent. While it's usable, it's not going to be that good. In this case, the Black Cliff bow will outperform the crafted weapon quite easily, but with the event giving us a Wind Bloom Ode at Refinement 5, it's easily the best free to play support official weapon. So let's move into the gacha weapons. Rust is still viable here depending on how often you feel official to attack but loses to the BP weapon. And then we have the stringless which edges out as the winner due to its insane passive skill. Going into 5 star Amos bow is not good for support official and I would not advise you use it for her in this situation. It's quite the waste to be honest. The skyward harp again is is the best in slot though so if you do have the skyward harp you can use it for support official so for artifacts there are a couple options as you can build her as a physical main dps with two piece gladiators and two piece bloodstain or if you are using her as a support you can use the four piece thundering fury and these two sets will be your main go-to sets for official then we have alternative option for builds such as the four piece thundering soother set and of course we have the four piece retracing bolide set but of course as i mentioned both of these latter options are optional builds and very situational as they both also do have conditions that you do need to fulfill for you to get the most out of their set effects for people wondering if the thunder soother set is worth it i usually don't advise it as it's inferior to the thunder fury in most cases so save yourself the headache and just go with the thunder fury set Artifact main stat for main or support DPS official should be attack percentage sans, physical damage cup, and crit rate or crit damage headpiece. Artifact main stat for pure support official should be attack percentage sans, electro damage cup, and crit rate or crit damage headpiece. Substats to look for are crit rate or crit damage depending on which you need more of, attack percentage, then flat attack, and finally elemental mastery. And these substats are the same regardless of how you are building her. And that's it for this video. Fischl is currently a contender for the best 4 star unit in the game and while not being S tier anymore, she still has a spot in many teams and if electro changes do end up happening down the road, it will only make Fischl better. Currently she already fits in into three positions being main DPS, support DPS, and support. The reason she is underused and overshadowed by characters such as Bennett and Xingqiu is really due to her electro element and not because the unit itself is bad or not comparable to Bennett or Xingqiu. So for people looking to build her, go for it. She is absolutely insane. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe for more Genshin content as I do daily uploads. Until tomorrow's video, stay safe and peace peace.